Welcome back. ChannelsTV.com has more information for you. And on YouTube.com forward slash Channels Web, you can watch our videos. You can also watch us on your mobile device via your browser or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows devices from their respective stores. That's not all. Besides giving you access to news updates, the Channels TV and Channels 24 app have an eyewitness feature that you can use to share pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. President Mohamed Buhari has cancelled the Federal Executive Council meeting for this week to allow for the signing of the 2018 appropriation bill into law by Wednesday. The presidency had received the bill from the National Assembly on May the 25th after it was signed by the lawmakers. The president presented a budget proposal of 8.612 trillion naira to the lawmakers earlier in 2017 with the hope that the bill will be passed in December of that year. But it took six months for that to happen with the lawmakers accusing ministries, departments and agencies of frustrating the passage by failing to submit the breakdowns of their budget proposals. The National Assembly, however, increased the proposal by 508 billion naira, bringing it to 9.12 trillion naira from the original estimate of 8.6 trillion. During the budget presentation, the president had noted that the appropriation bill will consolidate on the achievements of the previous budget and that 2018 is expected to be a year of better outcome. In the South-South, the River State Government has commissioned a 24-block, three-bedroom flat living quarters for civil servants in the state. The state governor, Mr. Yeston Wike, while speaking at the inauguration ceremony, spoke on the importance of civil servants to a government system. He also advised them to adopt a maintenance culture for durability. The governor briefly stated the commencement of a new project called the Labor Estate. He says the foundation will be laid soon and its commissioning will be sometime in December. Meanwhile, a former governor of Plateau State, Jonah Jang, who chaired the event, reiterates the importance of, main of maintaining public property. The engine room of government is always the civil service. And so we must do something that the civil service will say, yes, this is our own, as our own. Those of you who will stay here, you must sign an agreement that, look, this place will not be like this too. It will not be like this at all. Workers were interested in your welfare. That is why I come to the ninth of this month, we are laying the foundation of the labor house in the States. And by the grace of God, that labor house will be commissioned later in December, it must be commissioned. Our problem as Nigerians is that we have no maintenance culture. And this attitude must change. If we want to live like any other civilized uh, nation in the world, we are a big country, we are respected all over, but we must also do things the way civilized nations do in our own country. As the governor has said, this place must show the example of how we should live. Ministry of Works, there we used to know in those days, when you see a government building, you see a date of next renovation, a, de a date of next pointing. At least every year, government buildings should be inspected. And then there should be time for maintenance. And if we continue to maintain these buildings, they will last. If we continue to maintain what facilities we are putting for the people, they will last. But if we don't maintain them, they will disappear and will become what we are seeing, the opposite, what we are, I mean the opposite of this building. Now, in the Southwest, the United States Consular General believes that elections in Nigeria are vital to the nation's developing democracy. This was mentioned by the public affairs officer of the consular of the consulate, Darcy Zotta, during the ongoing election reporting training for journalists in the South South. She says the exercise will serve as a platform to engage journalists on producing objective and all-inclusive stories. Issues such as practical political reporting, 
tackling fake news during the electoral cycle, covering political rallies and tracking the electoral process were discussed. We know that all of you are seasoned reporters. Some of you may even be thinking, you know, this is not, as we say in American English, my first rodeo. I know how to do election reporting. So why this focus? There's a couple reasons. One, media keeps evolving. The challenges that you have to deal with, some of them are similar, and some of them are different than what you were dealing with in the previous election. So the professor and Joan are both here with you to discuss those. How do you meet the new challenges coming up? The second thing is that looking forward to free, fair, credible, and non-violent elections you undoubtedly play a role. And it's always good to discuss with your colleagues how do you achieve that. From politics to infrastructure, but staying in that region, commuters flying the Atimbo Pabuyo Bakasi Federal Highway have commended the federal government for the ongoing intervention work on the almost collapsed road, which for years subjected them to untold hardship. The road intervention work by the Ministry of the Niger Delta spans through other communities. Minister of the Niger Delta Affairs, while inspecting most of the ongoing intervention in parts of Cross River State, says he is not pleased, however, with the slow pace of work. The Atimbo Akwabuyo Bakasi Federal Highway, just like many other federal roads in different parts of Cross River State, has degenerated to the point of subjecting commuters to a lot of inconvenience. But there may be relief for motorists in a matter of weeks following intervention from the Federal Ministry of the Niger Delta Affairs to fix bad portions of an expressway that leads to the border between the state and the Republic of Cameroon. Given the uh, geographic location of this place, it's the rain sets in fully, ending of June, July. So we want to be out of here before June rounds up. So we've been battling the little rainfall. And as you can see, pumping machine here, we have to, you know, evacuate water before we start working. So it will be almost no, no work if we allow the rain to set in fully. So we are trying to beat up, meet up time. In other parts of Cross River State, the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Usani Usani, inspects federal projects with completion targets expected before the 2019 elections. The infrastructure development, especially transportation, is quite consequential to the productivity in the agri sector. And that is why you can see us trying to get into the hinterlands by what we are doing. Because by this, you will find the rural economies, the household economies of rural areas, will begin to improve because there will be better marketability of whatever they produce, from oil palm to cassava products, yams, and the rest of them. In Biasa local government area of Cross River State, the minister takes a swipe at the contractor handling the Abari Barra Road on the poor quality of work. From the fiscal siting, I see some defects in the construction and I'm calling the attention of the contractors to it. I think uh, they have to correct them or they will have to face some reprimand. Concerned residents appeal for strict monitoring to ensure it doesn't end up a failed project. All this while we have been waiting that the, by this, before this time we have been expecting that this road will be constructed to the village but to my surprise, I don't know what is uh, hitting the, the, the program, so I don't understand. And I'm very grateful that you people have come so that you, as you will be going back, you will go and tell whether Niger Delta that this route has not yet completed. In spite of this appeal, communities in Biasa local government area are still glad about this intervention, which they hope will improve the economy of the area.
You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, in the northern parts of the country, residents of Bono State benefit from free eye surgery. Please stay with us.